It is on my list, and my list is very long, actually, of things that I need to do. Um, good evening to you. Um, let's just take a quick look at our weather pictures um, from what you've sent in, actually, today, as ever. Thank you very much. So we'll start with this one. This is how things started this morning. Misty and murky in parts of Cheshire. Thank you to our weather watcher for sending this in. And into lunchtime and then into the afternoon, we did see something a little bit brighter. And don't quote me on this, but I think the first picture sent in by a weather watcher dog. Milo, or Milo, um, sent us this picture in. I hope you enjoyed your swim. Thank you for this uh, lovely picture. So if you're looking for something a bit more settled and fine and dry, this weekend is looking a bit more promising, although because of the strength of the sunshine, UV levels will be high out there. So let's just take a quick look at the pressure chart. That cold front is what brought us the rain overnight, but high pressure is taking charge this weekend. And you can see we've got some more fronts coming in, but that's more likely to mainly affect the Isle of Man and parts of Cumbria, where we're more likely to see some cloudy conditions. So tonight, any remaining showers will continue to move off. So we should be seeing rather clear spells. The clouds will be a bit more stubborn to lift there on the Isle of Man. Elsewhere, clear with temperatures dropping to around 6 degrees Celsius. So tomorrow, any mist and fog first thing will lift, leaving us with plenty of sunshine. You can see the cloud there just staying there on the Isle of Man, quite stubborn to lift. In parts of Cumbria, we could be seeing one or two sharp showers into the afternoon, but it will be warmer compared to what we've seen today with highs of 20 degrees Celsius. Now back to the pressure chart, I mentioned some fronts moving in. This one will move in there. You can see in parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland, it is likely to get just to the Isle of Man and parts of Cumbria. So tomorrow night, you can see the cloud there feeding, building and also parts of Cumbria as well. But temperatures will probably drop to around six degrees Celsius, a little bit higher on the Isle of Man, where the cloud remains. Not Ooh. bad. So possibly quite cool for the Great Manchester run on Sunday. Exactly. You know, I, I do think about the region, you know. You do, you see, <laughs> I envy your power. Emmanuel, I, you I am a very powerful literally person. literally make or break a weekend. So you've now got City fans thinking we could win the title in the sun. So Mo Farah obviously watches every programme. He's watching and thinking, it's going to be nice for my run. Yeah. Brilliant. Pay rights for Emmanuel. All Thank you very you. much. Oh, and you've also said you're going to do the run as well. Oh, gosh, yes, I did, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I have been in that supportive it. crowd myself, you know, Rich, watching my wife. It was about 10 years ago. It was very, so very was tiring. Very supportive. Clapping. Yeah, yeah, very tiring. Yeah, it was, it was, it was just boring. But that's what it's about, isn't it? Everybody <laughs> supporting each yeah. other. Brilliant. Yeah, watching people slug the guts out. Absolutely. It really is. Right, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I'll be back uh, later on uh, tonight at 10.30. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. See you, bye.